All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here. Kind of an impromptu boxing on a Sunday afternoon. I didn't really expect to get this piece today, uh, but I wanted to unbox it. I wanted to do it here on camera. I was a little bit overzealous, as you guys can see, and I already cut the tape when I was uh, when I cut the box. Um, I was going to just open it up and check it out, but I like to share that stuff with you guys, so let's go ahead and do it. This is going to be a Watch Gang a platinum membership unboxing for November 2018. Um, this is the watch. If you had your preferences set in a certain manner, they would go out this way. My preferences for watch gang have always been set for diver, 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 diver. So uh, automatic generally is preferred. I think it's my number one choice. But if you guys aren't familiar with watch gang, you go through and you check these boxes as far as what you want. Um, and so they have my subscription. Now, I didn't pay for this watch. This watch was sent to me by Watch Gang. They wanted me to check out one of their Platinum Edition watches, and I was happy to do it. Um, you know, I had a Watch Gang Black subscription for two months, and uh, the reason I quit that was twofold. First of all, the two watches that I got at first were not... It was a lot of the color scheming. I'm a I'm a guy that really likes... Um, <laughs> and it's weird because I just picked up a black and orange watch in my ball... Uh, engineer diver, but uh, the colors weren't the colors that I really liked as far as black and orange went. The watches were kind of just something I I wouldn't have picked out myself, but the watches were definitely worth the price I paid for them, uh, definitely worth more than what I paid for the subscription. But the other reason was because I had just bought my Breitling Super Ocean and I had to get some responsibility and uh, not pay that $100 a month for that subscription after I just bought a brand new uh, Breitling Super Ocean. So anyways, that's really kind of the reasoning behind my last subscription and why it went cold. But they offered to send this out, and I definitely wanted to check out one of their Platinum Edition watches. So let's go ahead. I'll stop talking. Uh, I'm wearing the Helson uh, Diver, the Shark Diver today, the 500-meter watch, uh, by the way. So go ahead, and we've got stuffing. We'll get out of the way here and uh, in the bottom of their box, as they usually do. They're going to have their watch gang. Uh, this is going to be their newsletter and poster. For 2018, they usually show you some of the watches that have been, uh, oh, they're counting down to Black Friday. I'm sure they're going to have a big Black Friday sale. I'll leave a link down below where you guys can check that out. And I think they talk about the, the Rolex winners um, in here also. And then they've always got a, a poster on one side of it. So neat, neat subscription. I mean, it, it's, it is what it is. Okay, so here we go. This is uh, West End Watch Company, original Swiss watches since... 1886, okay. Um, I'm not familiar with this watch company, but that doesn't mean really anything. I don't know every watch company out there, but um, nice box. This is going to be, I don't know if this is the box the watch is in or just an outside box. So. Okay, so we've got our paperwork in here, original Swiss watches. I will definitely sit down and read this. This is just going to be a quick unboxing video. Uh, this looks nice. It it gives you some information. A lot of the watches that I received, or the two that I received in the black, didn't have a lot of information. The black membership, this obviously comes with some information. Nicely packaged with the tissue paper, and this feels like a nice box. They've got this watch in, so go ahead and move the outer box out of the way there. And again, we see West End Watch Company, pretty much the same as the outside. This is... Uh, you know, embossed, I guess you'd say, into it. It feels, this is just cardboard. It's not um, leather or anything, but it appears to be hinged. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. All right, so, well, I like green, so that's a that's a good sign right off. This is a, uh, obviously, a diver's watch. It's running. It's an automatic movement here. Nice looking watch, to be honest with you. I really, uh, I like the looks of this right now. Automatic, it looks like it's a 200 meter. Um, impermeable, that's interesting. So that's going to be the waterproof. West End Watch Company, you've got that red tip. So, oh, that's interesting. Look at the case back there. That looks a lot like the back of my Breitling, to be honest with you, the way... It looks like you'd need the same tool you have on a Breitling to take this case back off. So let me let me pause it for a second. Let me get the tape and the plastic off the strap so we can take a little bit closer look at it. I'm not going to do a full review. I just want to kind of take a breeze through this watch with you guys and check it out. Right now, I really, I really like the looks of this piece. Uh, good looking. Let me get the plastic off. Give me a second here, guys. 
All right, guys, so I've gotten plastic off the watch, and in the process of doing that, there's a couple things that I noted right off. Um, you guys look down there at the six o'clock position on this watch, there is Swiss made noted down there on the dial, which is a, that's a nice thing to see, I gotta admit, because that means at least, you know, I think it's 60%, uh, or I don't can't remember, 60 or 75% of this watch was manufactured in Switzerland to the specifications required. Uh, per the Swiss government. So that's a good sign. It also says that on the back of the watch. I also noticed on the back of the watch when I was pulling the sticker off that this watch has a sapphire crystal on it. So what you would expect. So we're most likely looking at a Swiss movement in this watch. Uh, I'm going to think that maybe we're looking at a Salita SW200 most likely, which is a good movement, good, solid, reliable movement. Uh, you're looking at a 200 meter water resistance, I can tell you right off. So Guys, stay tuned. Within probably a week, I'm going to get a full review of this piece up. Right now, to be honest with you, uh, this hits well above the $199 um, membership price point for, for what I'm seeing right here. It's a Swiss-made watch, sapphire crystal. It has a beautiful, uh, it appears to be a polished bezel insert on it. I don't know anything about the loom. Sapphire crystal, very nice bracelet with a solid-looking buckle and clasp assembly on it. So, so far, guys, uh, I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot of watch for the $199 membership price. So let me know what you guys think down below in the bottom in the comments. Thank you for tuning in to the OFD channel this afternoon. And uh, definitely stay tuned for the full review of the West End Watch Company. Now, I oh, I got to tell you guys, I saw the name of the watch here is, this is the uh, Avalite. So it's the Avalite Diver. So very nice looking watch, guys. So, okay, stay tuned. We'll get a full review up very soon of this piece. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there in the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. All right, thanks, guys.